It's been two years since Officer Ella French from the Chicago Police Department was shot and killed during a traffic stop in the south side of Chicago. At the time of her death, she was 29 years old. She had just served on the police department for three years at that point. The Chicago Police Foundation is now starting a scholarship to honor Officer French's legacy of service and compassion. Her mom, Elizabeth, is with us this morning. Uh, thank you for being with us, for sharing your daughter and her legacy. I know that every day you think about her. What do you miss most about Ella? Um, her smile and her, just her bubbly nature, mm -hmm. just her smile. We were friends and I, I miss talking with her every day and planning things with her. Yeah. Just. And you mentioned to me a moment ago that she was charted her own course in law enforcement. Was this something that she always wanted to do as a little girl? When did she decide to be a police officer? I've been asked that several times. Um, Ella was always a people person. She was very, um, she could relate to people very easily. Um, she went away to military school for a while, and I think that might have been a bit of a germ for it because she came back and when she started looking for colleges, she started looking for colleges that offered criminal justice. Mm. So. And it was a long road to get to where she was to become an officer. What was that moment like for her when she finally was able to put on the badge? Oh my gosh, she was so proud at both her star ceremony and her graduation. There's a picture of her standing so tall and smiling. She was just so proud. And from everything I've read about her, Elizabeth, she was a people person. She wanted to help. I think I read a story about her staying by the side of a baby who was in despair mm -hmm. until they got to the hospital. Um, talk about that per part of her personality, her giving heart. She always, she always, it touched her heart. She would feel bad when she would see people hurting or, or situations. Um, I remember her telling me she had a call once, it was a domestic, and there was a young child there, and she's giving this parent what for about what they're doing to that child. It was just her nature when she saw things that were hurtful to people that if she could, she would try to help. Yeah, she was a, she was a helper, right? We, we need was. those, which is so special now because her legacy of helping others will live on through this scholarship. How did this scholarship come about and who will it help? Um, I received a call one day, um, sometime after Ella's death, from a Chief Navalis, and he told me that there was a gentleman out there that was looking to start this educational scholarship, and he wanted to know if they could have my permission to um, name it after Ella. That was a very easy yes for me. So. Um, Fast forward now, um, and the scholarship is, is up and running. They're taking applications, and this scholarship is for the children of um, Chicago police officers, um, current and retired. It's for the children of employees of the Chicago Police Department, and it's also for those children that are involved in some of the police community activities as well. So mm -hmm. what? what <laughs> wide range of students. Right, helping so many. Knowing your daughter as you did, as her mom, as her friend, what would she think of this being her legacy? Oh, I think she would be very proud, very honored, <laughs> maybe a little bit of Definitely pleased by it. Not a little bit. Definitely pleased by it. No, yes. it's it's special. I can't wait to see where it goes and who's it, who it helps and, and have those people in and talk about um, how it has benefited their lives. Uh, that day, two years ago, uh, her partner, Carlos Yanez, was also seriously wounded, um, partially paralyzed as a result of the shooting. Are you in touch with he and his family and how he's doing? All the time. All the time. Um, Carlos and Ella's other partner, Joss, have become um, second family to me. And um, I'm so blessed to have them in my lives. And um, I see them and talk to them all the time. Um, Carlos is, is doing very well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm so pleased to say that. Um, and he and his family are wonderful. And um, Josh has returned to work and he's um, carrying on his special job too.
Well, please give him and his family our best. I um, will do. I know it's special that that partnership and friendship that bond you all will always have. Uh, the two brothers uh, that were charged in your daughter's death uh, will face their day in court. What does justice look like for your daughter, for you? How hard will that be? I don't know that I have a good answer to that yet. Um, I, I, I don't have a good answer to that. I, I would like to see justice done in some way, shape, or form, but um, that really is not at the forefront of my mind right now. What's forefront of my mind is, is trying to do positive things in Ella's name, and I'll kind of cross those bridges when I get to them. <laughs> Well, you're carrying on her legacy in a beautiful way. Elizabeth, thank you so much. It's oh, been a pleasure to talk to you. It was very nice to meet you, and, and thank you for letting me talk about that scholarship. And quick reminder to anybody out there who may be interested in it, the deadline is for application is coming up. It's September 1st. So please, please, please take advantage of it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.